Hey guys, um, today I talk about my workspace. People ask me if I can show them how I arranged my workspace. Um, since you might know, um, you can arrange anything here in your workspace. You can design it almost however you want to. Um, and this is a request from a uh, Follow, a YouTube follower, so I will explain uh, how I set this up. Um, first of all, I always, or 99% of my images is a ratio one by one, so this is the perfect workspace for me. Um, if it, how your workspace should look like or could look like, it depends on what you want, what you need, uh, how your ratio of your images will be and so on. So this is not determined to be the best workflow or best workspace. Um, just this is how I have it and maybe it's useful for one of you guys out there. Okay, so let's start. First of all, um, when you go to Window, Workspace, Select Layout, you have something like this perhaps this is a normal workspace I think or we try another one Hollywood Boulevard this is that's the guy with all those um, environment here on the side where you can see all your stuff and um, and different menus as well so and I used city limit light this is the workspace i use and i changed a lot of things to, to fit my needs um, what i usually <laughs> change first is this one I, I don't like to have the this area inside of my workspace i love to have it outside of my workspace so you can click here and go to dock view controls so now the stuff is here so you have nothing inside the workspace and you have clear view on anything so with this big cube always this one sometimes it's in the way and you need to move around your, your uh, objects or your camera or your view or whatever so uh, dock view controls will move them out and you have a uh, full view to your um, scene, to a perspective view. Okay, then I go back to my workspace. I um, saved it, of course. Whenever you want to make a change to your workspace and you like so far what you had, um, it's best to save it before and then you can try out anything. So, what do we see here now? So, I need to go reset this back, dock view control. So, um, what I do second is I save a scene as default DAF and um, you can, in the um, preferences, um, you go to scene and on new load file default DAF and also on startup load file default DAF. It's the scene you have saved before perhaps. What it makes is each time you start your Dash Studio, it will load this default scene. So, good thing is you can already place a camera. You could also place your light into the scene and save it or whatever. I only have a camera because I change my light constantly. Um, I, I use not always the same light or similar lights even. I do all to each scene I make a new light set. So I have a camera placed here and I have it watch, watching to, to zero coordinate so it's not rotated, it's just a little bit in the, in the foreground so it comes to you, to the viewer and a little bit high to 50, um, yeah, how, what is it, meters, centimeters or whatever. I did, did this because uh, whenever I load a figure, I have it. Uh, it's, 
Oh, this is much better. Um, I can see it. So this should be the viewport. So when I delete this and go look now to my camera, so you can see it's 90 and 406. These are the settings to have your figure directly in view when you load it. Yeah, so I delete this and now save the default DAV again. So whenever it loads now or you click on new, it always has this scene and whenever you load the figure to it, it will have it in the middle of the area. So if you work with other primitives, for example, the sphere, the sphere lays on the ground, but you need only to click the sphere and um, make it center to the scene. Yeah? Okay. So delete it and load the default. So what else do I have here? I have an environment tab, power post tab, and scene tab. Um, the scene tab, the, no, uh, the new power post tab I placed here since the version of Genesis 8 and since the update or to Test Studio 494 100. 15 or 117, well, not exactly, um, and it really, really in improved. They really worked a lot on it, and what it does, I will show you, if you don't know already. Let's go to the head, and then to the power pose, to the head, and then you can see here all the morph, all the morph points. Here, look at the eyebrow here, and I move it, oh, ah, this was a cheek, yeah, the eyebrow, so here's the eyebrow, so you can really pose anything of her face to your likings. If you don't want to dial it in, um, this is the best way to do it, I think. So, yeah, you can see everything works perfectly, it moves, moves. This is for the um, symmetrical um, adjustments in, in the face of the figure. This is not, but all those in the center row, they are for head shaking, and right here for the eyes, for both eyes. Yeah. So even both eyes, you can see it here. So whole mouth here so just just for the left side her left side so our right side um, but I work I prefer to work with this because you have much more control on anything if you don't want to use the diodes and you want to have a really not symmetrical uh, face you can use this for example you um, choose an expression whatever expression you have Let's see what I have here. Um, people need female. Pages. An expression or so. It's expression as well. And if you want to have it not so symmetrical here, and um, you can slightly push and pull the thing you are liking, so we always, or people find symmetrical faces are most beautiful, so it's why we have it a lot of times and see it a lot of times, and if the models don't have symmetrical faces, uh, they will yeah, post work in Photoshop to have it symmetrical, but um, you should always consider to, to have it not symmetrical because it's more natural. That's what we all look like. We, most of us don't have symmetrical faces. So, okay. Just wanted uh, to explain. Um, but it's not the point of this video. So, go back to the video. So, I have the scene tab, the power post tab, and the environment tab. And um, environment is for having uh, another background to your render scene, if you want to render it. Um, you don't want to have it with that um, render setting environment 
backdrop here, environment map. You can choose a, a background and um, in, in another color, or also um, an image. You can also choose an image for your for your background visible. Yeah. Okay. Let's go browse. Whatever. So it's not so visible because it's blank. This. So you have an image that you can see in your render. Of course, uh, you can see this background also in your um, texture shaded view. Problem often is that you cannot see the environment map um, in your background. So why not loading it as a background into your image? But it will be stretched to this area. So it's not like an environment map. But you have it here at the background if you need it and if you want to work with it so you will know, know where to find it yeah okay back to none now that you've seen power pause environment but i prefer this the switching between all those um workspaces um also this uh, disturbed my settings of the tabs at least the tabs are all correct it's just tabs i had here but they are not in the um in the right, um, what is it called here? <laughs> this is the first one, and this is the second one usually. When the settings here, and I have the smart content here. And start look at my head, what settings, oh, sweet board, okay, here. So, and it's parameters. The next one, parameters, holding, shaping, surfaces. Touch surfaces, light, camera, shaping and posing I rarely use. So parameters is what I use most. Surface is second, light and camera, third and fourth. So and whenever you have done and put up your workspace together, save layout as and you can say my Cool lay out and then uh, actions report amounts or toolbars like city limit slide and accept it. So there you go. So when you close it now and we'll go back to the studio, we have it. In the correct um, order. Order was a word, yes. That's the right order. This is how I work with my uh, scenes. I can show you how I work with it. So, whenever you uh, need to just render a little bit, not, not so much, just quick preview, um, the AUX viewport. You find it in Windows, Paint, Oaks Viewport. Yeah, you can. It, it will pop up here, and then you can move it to to the side that you have this in, in your tabs here. Um, of course, you can set this to your render mode too. And uh, the camera angle. We have all the tabs here. So, yeah, that's the same. So now you can work in this one. You know, if you want to do something here, you can work here. As you can see, it's a little bit faster to work in the big window and render in the small window. If you render in this window and work in this window, um, you have a lot of delay usually. So, uh, at least a lot more than this. Okay. The good thing of the NVIDIA render engine is um, it calculates usually the stuff that has moved. So if you don't move the whole body um, and um, it changed not too much, then it renders also really, really fast. Um, I hope it is on your side too, on your computer too. 
I have a good one, so I have a fast computer and it um, actually might be different on your on your PC. So but I can work like that. So I have a little preview here and I can work on the main preview window. Let's see, pretty cool, I think. Like a dog. Um, that's why I have the aux port also in this and not on this side because here it's too small. I prefer a little big, bigger one, a little bit bigger one. Yeah, and then I have here my content library, my render settings, aux port. Smart content I really don't use. I can here install what I have in my um, desk shop. It's all the stuff I, I purchased in my in, in the desk shop and. Um, but I uh, and I can download it whenever I need it, and I can delete it when I don't need it anymore. This is a look at my hair plugin by Alessandro Mastronari, and um, this, I have it here because I use it sometimes. Draw setting comes in handy whenever you want to manipulate um, the look of your of your view here. And I did. Um, I did a tutorial about that already some weeks ago, so you will find it on my YouTube channel. And um, feel free to subscribe, of course. Thank you for that, for your support. And um, so you can have a look at the draw settings in another video I did already. Yeah, so this is how my workspace looked like and why it looks like, like, like that. Um, I bet you choose different settings, but maybe you found a hint. So the most useful hint, I think, for in my uh, opinion, is to move the cube controls here um, to, to the top of the window. This is the best best hint, I think, in this video. <laughs> and um, like I said, the aspect ratio depends, uh, well, determines, perhaps, um, what settings, what workspace you will put in here. Um, because if you use uh, another aspect ratio, your workspace might look different. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope it, hope it was not too long and I hope it helped you out in some cases. And uh, see you in the next video or hear you. Um, have a great week and bye bye.